Neighbors say it just doesn't belong here. There's a new plan for the Cantrell Funeral Home, and it has neighbors more upset than when the state shut the funeral home down. Right now, the old site of the funeral home is being transformed, so its owner says into a helpful community asset. Yet, as our Rod Maloney shows us, what appears to be going in is not sitting well with neighbors and nearby businesses, especially since there is a school and a bus stop right nearby. Here at the corner of Mac and St. Clair in the city of Detroit is now the infamous Cantrell Funeral Home. It's been closed down. The state is going after its former owners, making sure it never opens again. And what we were told about this building is that it was going to be converted into a community center. But the neighbors here are telling us that's not what they see. Jay Smith's worked very hard for 30 years to keep his flower shop going as the neighborhoods declined. And he's had high hopes for what would replace Cantrell. He was going to have uh, people coming in to do uh, uh, tutoring and just to do exactly what the Salvation Army was doing with the kids, after school programs. Instead, he says he's seeing what appear to be drug addicts in his shop. Then he sees this ambulance for detox patients out in front of Cantrell every day. The new owner of the old Cantrell building, Navid Syed, putting up an awning for quality behavioral health, Syed's drug rehab company that also sits just a few blocks down Mac. Now, if he's going to do a community center, I need for him to do that. Not with the drugs, not the rehab. I need him to do a community center. And if he doesn't know what the word community center entails, or does, he should ask somebody. Southeastern High School is just around the corner, down the street Hutchinson at Howe Elementary. Neighbor Pamela Heggs also wants the city cracking down on Saeed. I don't see anything on the, on the building except anything about a community center. QBH is a drug rehab. So either it's going to be a community center or either a drug rehab, which one it's going to be. Well, we knocked on the door to find out what's going on inside the building. No one answered there. We left a message on Naid uh, Syed's office number at the rehab down the street. We didn't hear back from him. We reached out through one of the former city council members here in the city of Detroit, who uh, we were told can put us in touch with him. Uh, she said she would do that, but we have not heard back from him. We are still interested in talking to him to find out what in exactly is being put inside the old Cantrell funeral home. Back to you. Yeah, and Rod, does the mayor's office have an opinion on this at all? Well, you know, they were uh, interested in what we were telling them today because what they tell us is that if they want to put a community uh, center in there, they can do that every day, all day. The problem is, is that in order to be able to put in a rehab in that building, they have to have a hearing, a public hearing, and the neighbors have to be heard from. In fact, Pamela told us she wants that very much, has been trying to get that, but so far nobody has put in any kind of request for that. So if, in yeah. fact, it's being run as anything other than a community center, that is a problem with the city. They said they'd be taking a Look. Yeah, we'll be watching it. All right, Rod, thanks.